Right, here we go. Martha needs to buy school uniforms for her son and daughter. She compares the prices of three different stores as shown in table one below. Now, if you look at this table, it says cost of school uniforms at three different stores. So these are the items she wants to buy. And these are the stores prices as she has went to see them and recorded them down. Uh, she hasn't actually made the total of how much she would need for everything in each shop. So that might be up to us. And then it says the white shirt. Uh, if she was to buy a white shirt from store A, she would get two for 110 rand. That means one is about 55 rands, right? 110 divided by two, 55 rand. So one would be around 155 rand for each. Okay, store B, 49 rand, 99 each. That would be the same, right? So store C, 110. So basically the prices on the shirts here are the same, even though they offer you two for 110 rand there. And then the gray skirts, 163 rand for two, where if you buy one in store B, you pay 54 rand and 99 cents and here the skirts are 130 rand so the gray shorts here are 186 rand 39 rand in store b 99 rand 95 and then we get to the school gray school socks now you can remember school socks they come in twos socks come in twos but then you know the, the pack him also what does it mean when they're saying packs so 44 and 40 and 50 cents for two packs so you're going to get them packaged into two and then you're going to be given for 40 and 50 cents here you get one packet and then you're yeah, sold at 89 cents okay they're saying here, note there are two pairs of socks in each pack. So a pair means two, right? So when you open the pack, you're going to find two socks, two socks in one pack, right? So you're going to find four singular socks. One that go together for two feet and one that go together for the one pair that go together for two feet. They are in one pack. So I'm finding this as in, right? So what's going to happen is... I'm going to make that example again, just using a diagram. So if I if there's a pack of socks like this, and you're going to find four socks, singular socks in a pack, and then you're going to get another pack like this, and then in there, there's going to be four again. So there's going to be a pair and a pair, right? Two pairs like that, and the two pairs like that. So that's what they're talking about there when they say two packs. And for this whole thing, you're going to pay 40 and 50 cents. Okay, let's move on. Um, identify whether the prices given in table one are numerical or categorical. Before I answer such questions, I ask myself, what is numerical or what is categorical? Numerical data is data that can be measured or it can be counted. And that is, um discrete and continuous data right so that would be here measured or counted therefore this is uh, numerical data now i stand corrected when it comes to this type of question i promise you i stand corrected so 1.1.2 says arrange the in ascending order all the prices given for store B. So what is ascending order? I like it. Descending, decrease. Ascending, increase. Ha, see how I crammed it? <laughs> I memorized it like that. Descending is decrease and therefore ascending is increase. So ascend to increase is to start from the small and go up. So now store B, they said store B, right? Okay, so let's go check out store B there. Store B there in the middle. We're going to start with the smallest, which is 11.99. Then the next one should be closer to 11, 18, 99. Then the next one will be 39, 99. And the next one will be 44, 99. And then 54, 54, 99. Then we have 159. 99 and then we have 169.99 now i'm just gonna quickly count if i've co copied all of them because i'm i might have skipped one two four six seven one two three four five six seven oh probably copied all of them i'm just gonna move on name the store that sells the cheapest gray socks cheapest gray shorts there's shorts, okay. So 1.1.3 will be 
uh, store B is the cheapest, right? 1.1.4 says, um, calculate the price for a pack of white so school socks at store C. Now, store C, white school socks, store C, there it is, $85.99 for five packs. So, I'm just going to like write it down, $85.99 for five packs. That's what they're saying there at the shop. And the question again says, calculate the price of a pack. A pack is one pack, right? So, I'm just going to take here $85.99 and divide it by the five. And I'm going to get for 1. 1.1.5 says determine the missing value P if Martha bought all the school items as advertised in store A. In store A, remember, there are items that are sold per 2. But you do not multiply by 2 because the, they have one price for both of them. So we're just going to go to store A and add all the prices. And, and then get the total. The answer. The probability of selecting store C to buy all the school items is 0 0.333. Define the term probability in the given context. So the probability is chances, right? So we're going to say 1.1.6. The chance of selecting store B from all the shops okay and that is a so for b these they saying write down the probability this probability is a percentage rounded to the nearest whole number what probability are talking about that decimal number there is the probability as they said that the probability is okay so i'm just going to copy it down first Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me check if there's ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes. Now I'm going to multiply this by a hundred, and then it's going to become thirty-three point three, 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 and percent. Now the last part says rounded to the nearest whole number. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that for the last part. Whole number means there's no comma. And then if they wanted a comma, they say two, one decimal, two decimal, right? Then I'm just going to say it, the, the number is going to end there. I'm going to check from the neighboring what it says. It says stay the same because it's below five. And therefore, the answer is 33%.